Okay, so I wasn't having any like I'm getting the video to spin around on my screen so I could do a video of me and then spin it around and do a video of the computer. So I'm holding it back to front at the moment. So if the picture's crap, anyway. Um, did a few builds this weekend and thought I'll clean out my water cooling system and whatnot. And uh, came across my profiles in BIOS from overclocking the 6700K on the Z170K6. And thought, well, look, I wasn't blessed by the silicon gods. It was a high, a bit of a high voltage chip. <clears throat> um, and other people have, I mean, you see a lot of good chips. Everyone boasting about them online, but if you haven't got a good chip, um, how do you get the best out of it and all that sort of stuff? Well, you just spend hours doing it, of course. But um, good cooling. Um, I delitted mine. I lapped it. Uh, the uh, heatsink as well. Um, you know, a, a big radiator, good water block, all that sort of stuff. So, but um, the point being <coughs> is actually, um, I thought I'd show some bio settings and, and whatnot. Just quickly, people can use this as a reference. I'm not going to blur on too long. Okay. So, um, some with hyper threading on, some hyper threading off. Obviously, the high clocks without hyper threading. So, let's load. 47 4.7s, um, 3.9 uh, cache, uh, XMP at 3200 uh, gram. Uh, hyper threading is on in this case. So, there we go. This is how I've got it set up now. A lot of people. Now I do things with speed step and uh, C states differently depending on what I'm doing. It's yeah, you know, I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, but um, I don't use offset voltage. I think uh, that's one of the big points I'm going to make here to you. Uh, but we'll, we'll get to that. And I'm just going to show you these settings as we go. No need to show you DRAMs on XMP. Um, uh, voltage configuration in order to attain. 4.7 type of threading on with the memory at that level. <coughs> memory affecting heat on CPU to some degree uh, based on you know, your, your system agent voltage and the DCIO voltage and all that sort of stuff as well. So um, you can see fixed voltage 1.440 power. Um, load line 2 color load line calibration on this board at level 2 on fixed mode keeps it very very close to what you're setting it at uh, one will take it over um, fairly well sometimes uh, and three will give you some droop uh, depends how you like to set things up uh, one puts a hell of a lot more heat into the situation uh, than two does and two seems to sit exactly where you want it to so um, the combination of your fixed voltage and your um, LLC is the paramount thing. LLC is a little bit more difficult to play around with with offset voltage. Um, anyway, I won't get down the path. Uh, I, using offset voltage, quite frankly, is ass most of the time. If I go back to the 775 chipset days, and we always did fixed voltage back then, we did have to muck around with uh, GTL references though, that was no fun. Um, so hyper threading enabled on there. I've got the C state time on this one, but in hot, hot state off. <coughs> you can have your speed step and uh, C one E on, um, and just have your Windows operating system running in performance mode, um, and it won't drop down for speed step anyway. Um, yeah, well, it's pretty straightforward. So if I go back here. Sorry if this picture is really terrible, I'm using my phone. Uh, load, so okay, this is uh, 4.9s uh, with 3.9 cache. Um, uh, okay, it was a base non hyper threaded platform for me to work around. Uh, 3.2s, uh, sorry, uh, 3200 rand. So let's go over that. So 4.9s. I don't know why I've got the VCL code frequency at 100 there, but over a certain level it'll set in at 100 with me anyway. It's only when I'm running it really low that it might decide it wants to pop another one on. Um, 
Look, I can run overclocks with FCLK frequency at 100, at, at 1000, um, and, and do. Um, but if I want stability, the 800 setting is, is better, and when I'm mucking around, yeah, I can finalise the FCLK closer to the end. Um, let me see, we've got speed step on again with this one. With your power limits, you just put in 10,000, it'll max those out, it's just setting the other limit, so that's fine. Um, this one would hide the 3 on that one, I had C states on that one too. Okay. Now we've got. Um, what was this one that I did? Oh, okay, 4.8, 3.9 cache, uh, RAM overclock to 3600 with uh, tight RAM timings. I've got DDR for 3200 Corsair Vengeance LED, LED RAM, so just for the sake of anybody who might have the same RAM, I'll show you that in a sec as well. So, 4.8. Um, this one I disabled speed step. <clears throat> There's my 3600 running there. That'll run at uh, 14, 17, 17, 34, 2T timings. Uh, I went on to muck around with this a little bit more, but this is just how it did run. Um, yeah, I mucked around a lot more than that actually uh, afterwards. About that. So the voltage, 1.455, <coughs> the RAM up for that one, and the VCC IO voltage had to go up as well. The ASRock boards like to over volt a little bit, I mean my, all those voltages you can see there are actually uh, running slightly higher. So I had uh, Hyper 3 disabled there as I said, and all C states off for that overclock. Next, uh, 4.9s, uh, I think uh, it's very similar to the last one, so much so that I won't bore you. We've got 4.8s, 39 cache, 3.9 cache, uh, 3200 RAM XMP, non hyper threading. And that's shown there with no speed step. No C states. 1.455 level 2, obviously. Anyway, just uh, thought I'd pop all those out there for some people who aren't doing it too easy on the old temperatures or, or voltages. Um, you're not alone, but keep it cool and, and run it run it like a beast anyway. Ciao, ciao.